How many years have you been working on Prevost, sir? Since 2004, I worked at Parliament Motor Coach. We built 77 buses there and a uh, great bunch of guys and um, been doing it ever since. Ladies and gentlemen, I just spotted this absolutely stunning Prevo Royale coach. This is a double slide XL2 listed for sale here at the Motor Coach store in Bradenton, Florida. Today we've got a Prevo expert hanging out with us. Let me introduce you to Joe. Joe, how you doing today, sir? Very well, sir. So what are we looking at? We have a Prevo XL2 Le Mirage built, built by Royale, vision of Monaco. It is a 45 foot motor home with a Detroit diesel series 60 engine and a six speed Allison world transmission. The bus has twin slides on it. It has a complement of inverters, twin 3000 watt trace true sine wave inverters, an aqua hot hydronic heating system, a headhunter 60 PSI water pump, 190 gallon fuel tank, and it is an absolutely beautiful shape. Absolutely. The, uh... The stainless on this coach, the paint is just one of the best looking uh, 15, 16 year old buses I've seen. Uh, can we pop these basements and uh, see what's going on inside? Forward compartment, storage. You've got a storage drawer on the top for tools yeah. or spare parts in this instant. Each of these Jodo Cargo's slide on bearings so you can load up with grills, tools, uh, any kind of camping necessity that you need. Same with the bottom, it will go this way when it bottoms out, it'll go all the way back and all four drawers do the same feature. Yeah, and I'll point, I like that they're simple, they're manual, less stuff that can break, That's Correct. very functional. This bay here is our battery bay which has a complement of six AGM Lifeline Group uh, D batteries, yeah. or eight, eight Ds. Yes, sir. Um, Zantrac there's inverters. Your, there's your twin 3000 watt inverters and another toolbox for more storage. Great. This is usually where people will put their cooler you get a Dometic cooler in here. It's got an entertainment center with with uh, speakers, stereo. We can also out outfit it with a uh, with a 48 inch TV if the customer wants or need be. Nice. So there's plenty of storage there. Yes, sir. This is your Aqua Hot hydronic heating system, which also acts as an engine aid to heat the motor be uh, before a cold start, as well as domestic hot water heater, and it is also the provider for your furnace system so that is the heartbeat of your of your heating system awesome in here is your air compressor and air system which works the doors and anything air operated in the bus without actually running the motor there's your accumulator each of the bays uh, water bays have a ceramic heater to keep them from freezing in the heat in the uh, winter awesome This is your chassis side. You have four Group 31 deck of batteries for cranking. This is where you charge it if you needed to jump start it. A pair of Vanner equalizers. Basically what that particular one does is that splits 24 and 12 volt evenly. So you get an even charge from the alternator going to your house and chassis batteries. Um, back here is the heartbeat of the home the series 60 detroit diesel yes sir now you've worked on a lot of prevos what's your thoughts on the series 60. i like the series 60 um pre-def the the power that it makes the response um it's a lot more easy to work on than uh the newer ones the newer volvos any of the prevo guys that have the newer volvos wish they had the series 60 in it in my opinion, it makes a little bit more power. Uh, some people may argue that, but a Series 60 versus the new Volvo, is just, there's no difference. This one has a 250 amp oil-cooled alternator. Then it's got a 12-volt alternator, air conditioning, 
This system here is very, very easy on the highway. If you get into trouble and blow a belt, you simply turn the air override. It deflates the bags, and you are now, with ease, able to change your belts on the road. Wow, very easy. That's, uh, that's something you can't do with a rear radiator, Coach. No, you cannot. <laughs> and you're back on the road. You have an oil storage for oil. Yes, sir. A couple of extra gallons of oil. If you get low on the highway, you simply flip the lever here and it will replenish the motor. Oh, that's very cool. I didn't know that. Rather than stopping and having to buy a couple of quarts and doing it. Yep. Yes, sir. Rotating camera, controllable on the dash with the monitor. So she'll go up, down, left to left, the full, the full view of the uh, motor coach. Awesome. It also has a memory setting for hitch. When you tow up, uh, you set it on hitch mode and it will go down and lock onto the front of your tow bar so you can see your towed vehicle at all times. Wow, that technology was way ahead of its day. It was, and it was just, you can't see what's back there and people needed to actually move it rather than a fixed camera. You can guide it where you want to. Yes, sir. This here is your dumping station. There's your 60 PSI Headhunter uh, 110 volt Mach 5 water pump, which in my opinion is one of the best on the planet. Yes, sir. Yeah, while we're back here, I've just got to point out how great of condition not only the stainless is in, but these wheels as well. Yeah, those are 22.5 Alcoa rims, and they are actually in very good shape. No pitting. And it looks like it's got the 365s on the uh, tag here. I wonder if the three if the steers are 365s 365s as well. On the steer. Okay, that gives you a, a lot a lot more of a stable ride, less body roll. The 316s we use a lot on the H class. Now was the 365s uh, standard or was that an upgrade on that these? That was an upgrade. Nice. Yeah, they were just the regular 315s, and then they started going to the 365s for the stability. Nice. Um, this is your real bay. And behind there is a Glen Denning shore cable reel. And it works in and out. You also have a water reel. This is the heartbeat of the slide room system right there. Prevo uses a big, big motor and a gear drive versus some of the other coaches that run smaller or hyd hydraulic. In my years of working on a Prevo, I've never seen one of them fail. I've seen the gears go bad once, but I've never seen that system fail. Wow. Okay, this thing here is your 20 kW PowerTech generator. It's got a Marathon electric bell on the back, made by PowerTech, and it produces 20 kW. It, then it's on that slide-out tray, making yep. it a little easier to service. Your slide-out tray here is set up to where yes you can do the services on it you can pull this machine all the way out and you can get to your fuel filters oil filter and uh other enemies you, you might need to get to on this very easy to work on it makes it so convenient some motorhomes do not pull out their fix this one does which from a tech point is a very very good thing Oh, absolutely. It makes it a lot easier. Yes, sir. And then uh, it has a standalone uh, air con air system rather than being on the top of the generator. So that makes it real easy to service. Pop the bottom off, your air filter comes out. The other feature of this bus is it's equipped with a buddy plug. Oh, yeah. Look so at that. So you can come up through the floor, and if your neighbor's motorhome dies, you can use the generator to power him. And then all that same material to keep this bay quiet throughout the bay yep, as well. The idea is not to hear your generator. Fifth, so your buddy can plug into 50 amp and you can run your coach and his coach all off of the 20 kW. Yep. This is the other end of the storage bay that you saw on the other side. It's got some wheel chalks. A lot of people don't plan to park their, their, their bus in the sand, so that's what those are for. Okay. Yeah, absolutely stunning uh, coach. XL2. I'm not actually sure when the, when the date was. Because some of the XL2s had the older square. A lot of these have been modified. Yeah. So yeah, and this, uh, I'm not sure what year they went from the square headlights to the round headlights, but this is the more modern front yeah, end for the XL2s. Standard with that. The L4s did not unless you had the upgrade. So I would say somewhere between 2004, late 2004 to 2005. 
Yeah, and I think I was told this is an 05. Uh, 365s on those tires. Good looking rubber there. Everybody wants to know the date codes. The date code is 24. These are 2019s. 2019 date codes on the tires and an absolutely stunning coach. But let's uh let's go inside and see uh what's what's going on inside of this coach. Oh right right away. I love the R on the entryway and that wood grain and leather. Just a beautiful entryway. Center seat is a lot wider than the driver's seat. Okay. It also has tilt. You have a footrest that comes up. Nice. So the passenger can um, relax and enjoy the ride as well. This particular model is a little different than a normal Prevo where normal Prevos will come with an Isery air ride seat. This is a flex seat. So it's basically a full captain's chair, all electric instead of air. So in my opinion, Driving down the road, you're doing less this. Yep, yep. Which makes for a little bit more comfortable ride. But she's got rear camera navigation, which we pointed in the back. And like I said, you can watch it and it will go up, down. Oh yeah, look at that. It'll look all over the place, the oh, tour. Oh, wow. And then you very hit the cool. center and it'll go automatically to the center. Wow, very cool. and. I've got to point out the wood grain dash and just simple analog controls. Everything's very simple, easy to use. All the buttons and switches are just not over complicated. It has an air leveling HWH system, which is located here. So you can level the bus uh, pneumatically, basically with one touch of a button and it will auto level. The interior in this coach, this is a nice, it's got like a warm, real neutral colors. Uh, I've been in a lot of buses. I'm pretty, pretty impressed. What's your thoughts on this one, Jojo? Uh, my thoughts are Royale. It's probably one of my, one of my favorite buses inside because they do take the time, the intricate detail with the wood. It, it, to me, it looks like a cabin or a, a luxurious motor yacht. And that's the way they build these. It's more of a, a down-home cabin style look to it with a little bit of flair. You've got Corian, polished Corian sinks. Um, you've got an electric Kenyan cook stove, uh, water heater, Insta-Hot. It's got every, everything that you would find in a, normal, in a normal home in this bus. So uh, a real good friend of mine and a mentor that has owned Newell's, Prevost, uh, Four Travels, all of them, always told me that the Royale coaches were easier to service and work on than other converters because he said like the, the components were just easier to source because they used a lot of residential style components. Is that something, is there any truth to that or? There is. Where I think we'd go with that first and foremost versus other converters, the way that they put this together and built this, everything comes away. The ceilings are on what we call Christmas trees. They're plastic fasteners, and you literally just pull them down and you can access the chase, the air conditioning, any of the uh, uh, run of wires that you need to, where other converters, those are permanently fixed. You cannot get at it. So the accessibility to get towards key components, such as tow kick heaters, um, vents, AC filters, are put in an area to where it's, it's very easy for a technician or a, a motor coach owner to get to. Some other converters, you have to take screws out and panels out. Royal doesn't really do that. Everything is pretty much in a breakaway panel and you can access about everything. Okay, so very cool. Yeah, that's one of the biggest key points to that. And I've just got to point out over here, this, uh, it looks like a flip down it desk. Does, I, yeah. Let's fold in. Yeah, so that can fold in, but it pops out to be like a little desk. And that's mm -hmm. a really comfortable looking recliner there. Uh, that is uh, that is what's called a scan chair. It's made by Scan Design. Um, very, very comfortable reclining. And we usually see them in a lot of buses there. Yeah. Lightweight, they don't take up a lot of room, but they will emulate a full a full recliner for comfort. Yeah, no, I bet you that's not inexpensive. And I really like how they use the different color leathers to kind of break up things mm -hmm. and still give it a nice look and very large couch. Do you know if that pulls out or folds down into a sofa at no, all? Not that one. That one, uh, it just has a storage underneath it. This one is a fixed unit and you storage here and storage here. There's all your owner's manuals. Mm-hmm. Nice. And the 
very well taken care of. The original owner did a, the fine job of, of uh, maintaining this one. Oh, absolutely. I can just tell how good of, uh, of condition all of the leather and the woodwork is in and there's all this intricate details that I've got to get the... What makes royal royal. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. The camera won't catch it unless I get you guys a close-up, but just a, a stunning. All of these different surfaces, uh, just really high-end wealth put together. Even, I really like this wood, uh, just kind of a little bit of countertop space here between your booth. Very well designed. She's equipped with a Bose uh, lifestyle surround system. Uh, all the components have been upgraded. Upgraded front stereo with navigation, a 4K did, uh, TV. Um, there's your Bose lifestyle right there. Oh yeah. And of course your uh, glassware, high-end glassware. and Which here. can be accessible here as well as here. Oh, very cool. I've never seen that before. That's a very neat setup. And I've got to point out that here at the Motor Coach store, they detail every little square inch. I've never seen um, just such a, a extensive overhaul process before they list these coaches on the market. What's going on on this table? Like a nice, almost like a gold mm -hmm. leaf or uh, like a painting on the table just to give it some character. And this leather's all in really good condition. And uh, Crestron controls there uh, in the kitchen there. What, uh, what do those do? Well, what this does is you can control your lighting and your climate control from that Crestron unit as well as your shades. Okay. So you can pretty much take care of all the appliances, um, heating, electric, lighting, shades, all that with this and with the battery is in it and working, it is also portable. I've got to just point out how good of shape all of this woodwork is in and when you open these cabinets, everything's fully lined with carpet and you can feel the quality. I mean, look at those hinges, the quality carpet, uh, just over the top with the build quality. What else is going on, sir? Well, she's got a Whirlpool side by side. It's a basically a home refrigerator, um, household refrigerator. Yes, sir. Instead of some of the uh, LP or or smaller units that are on them. And most of the Prevos do have that. You've got plenty of storage, spices, pull-out cabinetry for racks, uh, cans. So basically pantry pantry space. Yes, sir. Um, the bathroom area has got a wraparound shower. Nicely done Corian in very good shape. Absolutely, yeah, and they have all those soap dispensers or shampoo dispensers mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about hauling uh, bottles down the road. Have a shower vent on the top. I really like the the glass with the inlay. I was just it's, noticing it gives... Yeah, and it's got that, 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 that country look to it. Yeah, real rich, kind of a... It does not feel like we're in a motor home no. at all. It feels like we're in like a country estate or something and... Yep, a cottage out in the woods. Yes, sir. That bowl sink was way ahead of its time in yep. styling. And it's a vessel sink. It's a, a three-eighths. I think this one's a quarter-inch thick. Wow. So uh, when you drop your shaver, you're not going to destroy that. <laughs> but very, very good job on that. This here is your, your bathroom, your head area. Again, same kind of sink uh, with the same design and layout. Yeah, and this is something neat. I like a little little great spot for your toilet paper. They don't overcomplicate it. Complicate it makes it easy for you to leave your toilet paper mm -hmm. roll there and a mirror behind the head and and they all this opens up for storage. Uh, that is a Headhunter electric water uh, electric uh, toilet. Okay. Which is probably, in my opinion, better than anything out there. Uh, it's certainly better than the Air ones because of the volume that it flushes at. It's uh, it's very, very efficient. Okay. This here, it's equipped with Bosch Axis stacked washer and dryer. These are really, really good brand. Uh, and they are newer. Yes, sir, yeah, those are made in yes. Germany. This this would have came with a uh, a different set. So these are, these are a newer set. Okay. So they have been changed out. More storage, again, carpet lined. Uh, woods in impeccable condition. Adjustable shelving. Yep. So you have three storage down there. Same with the kitchen sink area. Everything is pretty much where you can get at it. 
And this is a prime example of what I mean by, you see the breakaway? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's, that's what Royal does. They Now you can get at your toe kick heaters. You don't have to unscrew anything. Everything is pretty much tech and user friendly. Yeah, and I just have to point out inside of the bathroom, I mean the bathroom cabinets, the the carpet is just flawless. I mean, it literally looks brand new inside of this cabinet. Laundry hamper. Yes, sir. And more storage for towels and and uh, washcloths and such. Rear bedroom back here, very cozy. Still has the large Prevo windows, but this is this is neat. What's uh what's the story here, sir? This one is uh, designed again. It's uh, it. it made to look more cabin cabin like um plenty of storage here under the beds uh, we have storage under the beds oh yeah yeah um you've got storage on both sides here this is your electronic your 110 ac panels instead of digging in the back and oh yeah it's real right easy here. yep to get to it looks like an upgraded lg tv that it is and is this going to be wardrobe off uh to the left side here this is more storage and uh oh nice little safe got a there safe in there nice but well, most of your main storage is going to be inside this little guy here and we will turn the lights on so we can see it Oh wow, it's basically a walk-in closet in the back of the coach with bar space all the way around the perimeter of the rear closet here. And this carpet, I mean, it, the carpet even smells new back here. I mean, for a 15 year old coach, unbelievable. And I really like these drawers. This is like something you would see in a really high-end home, how this closet is finished out. Absolutely stunning. They use all of their equipment they put in here. So this isn't shining in your face when you're watching TV at night or nor do you hear any of this run. That has a wine guard, um, high definition, stationary satellite dish. Yes, sir. Which is capable of HD. So if you want to watch Dish Network or you have Direct TV at your at your residence now, this guy right here will accommodate it. Before we started filming, I was looking at this coach with Jojo. He was actually telling me that out of all the coaches on the lot, I don't want to get it wrong. What what, what were you saying about this coach before I turn on the camera? I would say if I had my choice out of any one of them on the lot, for me, my personal preference, it would be this motorhome here. Um, I'm a big fan of the XL2, and I also enjoy the, the build design of a Royal. Uh, I, uh, being a boatman and uh, a woodsy kind of cabinish guy, this is kind of my style of living. And keep in mind that anything can be changed in here. Any of the uh, decorations, um, very, very easy to change with this design. Whoever owns it and makes it their home, I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I really would be jealous of it. It's a beautiful done, well, well crafted. Very, very nice motor coach. So unfortunately, it sounds like you're not gonna be buying this coach anytime soon. No, I just bought a boat. So. <laughs> <laughs> if someone is a serious buyer, um, who should they get a hold of if they wanna purchase this coach? I would uh, contact Brad Twait at the motor coach store. Uh, he's available most, most of the time. If not, leave a message and he'll get back to you prompt. And uh, I've seen the man work. I've seen his, uh, his work ethics, it shows his attention to detail, and he's a fair, fair, fair man, a very fair man, so. Yeah. Somebody may be lucky enough to end up with this one. And yes. I'd be, I'd be happy to show it to you. Well, Jojo, I can't thank you enough for taking the time. I know you've got a stellar reputation working on these coaches, and uh, really an honor to be able to walk through this coach with someone that has as much wisdom as you do. Greatly appreciate you and the team at the Motor Coach Store. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.